Hello and welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson and today we're going to be looking at the iPhone, uh, both the original iPhone, the 3G and the 3GS. And you know, you may have heard there's a new feature with the 3GS iPhone and that is you can go out and find your iPhone by using the mobile me service uh, that's a hundred dollars a year through Apple um, and one of the features that is part of this find my iPhone uh, well actually there are two features number one it utilizes the phone's GPS to report back to the mobile me service um, where the phone's located pretty cool uh, unless you know if it's in a building and let's say the building has six floors um, and you don't remember where the phone is in the building, it's not going to help you, you know, because it's only going to give you, you're going to lose your GPS capability. So now it has to use triangulations in the cell phone company. Uh, you're going to probably be close within a few block radius. But um, anyway, uh, another feature then is that you can send a message to the phone and the message will come up on the phone's display and it will say something like, this phone belongs to so-and-so, please give them a call. Um, now, part of the problem is this method of utilizing the service requires push technology. So your phone kind of has to be on all the time, uh, ready and able to receive these pushes from the server. Um, and Apple will acknowledge that the phone's battery life is decreased when you use the push service. Okay, so we've uh, kind of talked about the fact that unless the phone's like sitting out on a park bench someplace where you're really going to get the best GPS location information, uh, the, the actual mapping of where the phone is isn't going to help you too much, okay? Uh, number two, the messaging that you can send a message to the phone, it'll pop up on the phone screen. It's okay, but you know, if you're depleting the battery life at a rapid rate, um, at some point that feature's not going to work either. The phone's just going to be out of commission. So what can you do? to extend the battery life and still get the benefit of having some message on the screen that tells people, hey, this is my phone, please give me a call. Well, something that's really kind of a simple idea, and I'm surprised nobody has mentioned it, maybe somebody has, I just haven't heard of it, and that is to have as your iPhone's display, the desktop image that comes up as soon as the phone gets turned on, um, have a message there that says, this phone belongs to so-and-so, uh, you know, have your address, phone number, email, etc. displayed on the phone's display when it gets turned on, right? So the way you can do this, uh, probably the easiest way most people would have access to, if you're on an Apple, maybe you have Keynote, which is like a PowerPoint-like presentation software. Um, or if you're on Windows, you might have PowerPoint. Somehow, what you want to do is, even in Windows, you could use the Windows Paint program. You want to go into a graphics program of some kind and um, just draw out your dimensions of, uh, you know, standard 800 by 600, let's say, would be the, the image size, or 1024 by 768, something that'll get scaled to the iPhone screen, um, and maybe even go with the reverse dimensions, go with something like 600 by 800, so it's portrait rather than landscape. And uh, anyway, you get that portrait image, and you type in there in the middle, because remember on the iPhone, the top and the bottom are kind of covered up uh, when you first turn it on. Um, just type a message in there in text, right, in this graphic that has your name, your address, your phone number, your email contact info, and some sort of, uh, you know, maybe $100 reward for your phone, whatever you want to offer. Um, and then and save that as a JPEG. Okay, so that's step one. And then step two is synchronize it. So now that image is in your phone. It's part of your phone's uh, library of images. Um, and then the final step is just go to that image and use in the lower left-hand corner, you know, the little arrow that says, I want to email this or, you know, whatever. You want to save it as your desktop. Um, and that's it. So now every time you turn on your phone, if it gets left somewhere, hopefully people are honest, you know, they'll, they'll turn it on and they won't have to search through, you know, uh, 1,200 uh, contacts in your address book and try to figure out who this is or start reading your email, they can just turn on the phone and instantly they know who you are and how to get in touch with you. So uh, anyway, I hope that tip has been helpful and um, I wish you happy computing. So this is Greg Johnson signing out for now. Please tune in again later. Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com.